I'm Mike Barker. Uh, this afternoon I have with me Darren Owens from Scottsville, Virginia. Yes, sir. Good it's to a see pleasure you, Mike. for you, you to be well. here this you afternoon. Well. Thank you. Uh, Darren has been a farrier for 20 plus years now. Yes, sir. Uh, Darren's also been a field representative for Life Data Labs. He does a well job in uh, promoting our product. In fact, you've worked a lot of farrier events. Uh, End user retail type shows with us are for us as well, and we're glad you're here. Number one, absolutely, my pleasure. And, and of course, Darren uh, has been uh, closely associated with Dr. Gravely for the past several years as well. Yes, sir. And uh, Darren, let me give you the opportunity to tell 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 us how you became acquainted with Barn Bag. How did that come about? which is one of our products. Yes, sir, absolutely. Well, how I met Barn Bag was obviously through Dr. Gravely. I was working uh, on a tremendous amount of laminated courses myself and uh, one of our local veterinarians back in, uh, in Hampton Roads in Virginia. And we were just having a lot of trouble managing these horses. I'd had a close relationship with Dr. Gravely with our Farrier's Formula, which was exceptionally helpful in the climate we live in, which is uh, a lot, a lot of rain. Uh, ironically, most people don't know this, but in Southampton Roads uh, there in Virginia, we have more annual rainfall than Seattle, Washington. So I was faced with a lot of challenges uh, trying to learn, and, and Dr. Gravely has definitely been one of my uh, uh, amazing mentors, and the fact that I was trying to keep these feet together, trying to figure out how to be a successful farrier. And he uh, just welcomed me and couldn't have been any more helpful in, in showing me some of the things that I now call nutritional wellness tools. Uh, quite often they're referred to commercially as products. However, I just feel like the dedication of the Life Data family has cut short in the sense of calling something a product. Uh, that to me is, is just doesn't give these particular bags that they're due. They are they're amazing, they do great work, and uh, I refer to them as a, from a farrier's perspective as a nutritional wellness tool. So Barn Bag first was introduced to me well over 10 years ago. Uh, Dr. Gravely uh, was just an uh, amazing uh, treat for us. He came to Wakefield, Virginia, where uh, my company, Indian Fields Farrier Service, was hosting a uh, farrier education event there in, in Hampton Roads. And he actually brought this up and introduced us to it and had it in brown bags, brown paper bags, before it was even commercially manufactured. And uh, he was at that point, uh, as he is so often in the family here at Life Data, pioneers and innovators in, in the equine nutritional world. And he was learning and, and teaching us how to separate calories and starches from nutrients. And I was working on a lot of horses that definitely needed that kind of feeding program. So uh, with that, we started using it in our practice and suggesting it to our clients who we thought would be well with that. And ironically, still today, we're servicing those horses and feeding them on this nutritional program of barn bag. Uh, and actually, we have had generations thereafter now. You know, the, the mothers and mares have had babies. The babies have grown up. Uh, and now I've had another generation of babies. So it's clearly proven how well barn bag works for us in our farrier practice. Now you, you mentioned laminated horses earlier. Uh, can this be fed to other horses that are not laminated? Absolutely, where, I, where it fit my niche in the very beginning is you asked when was I originally introduced to it. That was something Dr. Gravely was really doing a lot of research on to figure out uh, because he saw a big need for that because unfortunately um, the horses were exposed to just a kind of one diet fits all mentality and it was very difficult for these horses, these problematic horses that were suffering from that. However, we feed it to horses that are, uh, that are what I would call recreational horses. We feed it as its name, pleasure and performance. We feed it to performance horses. Uh, so it's, it's a great nutritional program uh, unlike these, the wellness tools here, this, that is a complete program that I have to discuss with my clientele when the time arises that uh, we feel it, it's, it's good for them. Uh, of course, another problem that we have here in the U.S. is overweight horses. How does this uh, play as far as helping control uh, the diet, the, the starch, and the calories? Does that work well in a situation like that? It really does. It works well in allowing the owner, uh, especially an enthusiastic owner that has, has great interest in their horses, it gives them the ability to take control 
of their horse's diet, uh, as they would their children. They want to ensure that their children are eating well, the children are eating uh, nutritional sources that are high in quality and, and well-made, and they, uh, they, so they seek this out quite often. In doing so, what we find, and, and I, can, I can tell you kind of my observation is, what I see, I see a horse that, as you talked about, is overweight, some of which very much more than others, but just we'll just say for general conversation, an overweight horse that will actually completely transform. You'll see the horse uh, that, you know, some people would look at and say, well, that horse is not underweight or he's not too overweight, but you'll see that, that animal just, I'll refer to it as fitting up. The animal just fits up. You're starting to see the, the whole musculoskeletal posture of the animal will change. And uh, I've even closely uh, associated with myself to the point where the, the way the animal chews and the, the, the quietness in his eyes while he's in the, he or she's in the feed bucket will change. Um, quite often on a commercially textured cereal grain, they'll dive into those feeds because they are just so used to doing such. They'll gulp it. Uh, quite often experiencing a choke. Um, if not, they just will eat their food so much faster. After a transition period of 60 to 90 days, what I'll witness with the barn bag and these horses I've seen for, for several years is they'll slow down their eating process, especially if they're in a stall where they don't have to worry about any other horses around them. And when they start eating the barn bag in a company with the oats, uh, they'll get very quiet, their eyes will soften up. You'll start to see them secreting a tremendous amount of saliva and they'll be very content and it's an enjoyable meal for them, not a rushed gulping meal. And besides that group of horses, what about our, our metabolic horses? Is it safe to feed to a metabolic horse? Absolutely. Uh, we, we have not experienced any concerns in that regard. And obviously, again, the, the innovation and the pioneering of the research that's done here in the Life Data Labs family ensures uh, my customers, my, me, I'm, I use it obviously every day for my horses. However, my customers are ensured that uh, it's safe for their, their horses as well. And if you had to sum up a barn bag in a couple of sentences, what would it be? Well, I would say it's, again, an incredible nutritional wellness tool uh, for me as a farrier to help me maintain horses that could be problematic or in trouble. Uh, and secondly, I, I just find it to be cutting edge nutrition. Um, that's how I would describe it. It is it's here, the family here at Life Data is amazingly uh, innovative and very scientifically driven. Uh, it's cutting edge nutrition. That's what I would call it to be. Thank you very much. You're Jim. welcome, Mr. Barker. Pleasure to see yes, you, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me here yes, in Alabama. Sir. I appreciate yes, it. You're welcome. Yes, sir.